everybody, this is Chris, and it's been a long time since I've actually created a video for this channel, except for the fact that I've had people ask me, do we really need to use Homestead to install Laravel? Now, I've really stopped using Laravel because I've moved on to other things like JavaScript frameworks, and uh, but no, you do not need to use Homestead to install Laravel. Homestead is the Laravel creator's preferred method of, in, of using Laravel and developing with Laravel. And that's simply because, not that it's any better, but simply because it allows you to seamlessly migrate your development project from your computer, upload it to GitHub, and then migrate it from GitHub to Laravel Forge, which is going to cost you $15 a month. Uh, so they're making money off, you know, have, trying to get you to use home, Homestead and Laravel Forge. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to just make money. And uh, so you, you're going to pay $15 a month for Laravel Forge. That's the minimum. And then you're going to pay whatever the server costs. So it says Laravel Forge will say multiple servers. You can have multiple servers on Laravel Forge. That's not exactly true. you have multiple projects on Level Forge. However, those multiple ser servers, like if you get them through DigitalOcean, it's going to cost you a minimum of $10. Was it 5 or $10 now? Uh, so you're paying $15 for Level Forge, and then you're paying for each server that you get f through Digital Forge. And I, I see they have Amazon and Linode now. So you're paying, you're, that, that's not true. It's, you don't get multiple servers, you get multiple instances but you still have to pay for those servers. So, with that said, if you wanted to install Laravel without Homestead, I'll walk you through it. And it, it hasn't changed very much. Uh, first up, I have WAMP installed, and I'll have Composer installed already. So those are the only two things I have. I have WAMP 64. I'm running PHP 5.6.24. I didn't I could probably use P the PHP 7.1, but I'm not. I'm just keeping it simple. Um, so I'm just going to. What am I going to do here? I'm going to run the command line. So command prompt, and I'm going to take it to here. Let's say cd backslash wamp64, uh, and then um, is that www? Okay. So in this www directory. I am simply going to tape composer create project Laravel Laravel test and that's all and it is going to bring in just like it normally would it's going to bring in the most recent version of Laravel. Unless you tell it you want a specific distro, which would be the third parameter. So you'd have the first parameter is create project from Laravel Laravel. The second project, the second parameter is the folder that you want to create that project into or install that project into. In, my, in this case, it's test. And then the third, uh, I think it's either the third. It was one of the other arguments is the distro, and normally people are just going to use the most recent uh, stable version of Laravel, which in this case is 5.4.3. So it's going to do its thing. It's going to pull in all these extra files that Laravel requires. Or just watch it because I haven't seen this in a long time. Like I said, I've not really used Laravel since uh, my last videos, so which was like what a year ago, two years ago. So I watch it pull in all these files. I can honestly say that's not gotten any faster. 
The fastest version of Laravel was Laravel 3.2, and I swear, you just grab the zip folder off the. It was just like code. It's just like installing Code Igniter. You just take, grab the zip folder, put it on your web server. You know, create a folder, unzip the contents into that folder, run Composer, install, and boom, you were done. There was none of this. You know, it was none of this waiting. It was so easy to set up, and I, that's what I missed about. That's what I miss about Laravel, is that in the earlier versions it was so easy just to set up. Okay, so now we have our folder, and if we go and look, and we should just basically say cd test and dir. Sorry, dir. Let's say dir backslash w. So. And there's our file structure. So now to get it to work, you could probably, I mean, you could go in there right now, but you know how I am. I always love working with virtual hosts. So we are going to create a virtual host and we're going to create it right now. So let's go into here, into WAMP64, into Vin, Apache, Apache. Config extra vhost, except I'm going to open this in Atom. Open with Atom. Okay, so Atom is like my preferred text editor now. Or development environment simply because it's free. Uh, so I'm just going to grab this, copy it, paste it here, get rid of all this stuff because you're not going to need it. And simply we just need forward slash test, backslash rather, meh, forward slash. So you want test and public. And then I'm going to go ahead and just create a dev server or a dev environment. Environment. So I'm just going to say test dot dev and Control S and save that. That's now saved. Now I'm only going to use this because um, it's easier than using Atom. So I'm just going to hit Notepad, run as admin. Say yes. File open. You're going to want to navigate to your local disk, your Windows folder, the System32 folder, drivers, then etc. And then you're going to come in and when, it's, when you click on the etc. folder. So this is this is your path, right? So when you get in here, you're not going to see anything. What you're going to do is go down and hit all files, and here's your host file. So you're just going to open that with notepad. You have to do this as administrator, if not you can't save it. So I'm just going to say 127.0.0.1 which is the local host and tab over and I'm going to say test.dev. That's it. So I save that file and close this and start WAMP. Yes, we wait for it to start up. And it's almost green. It's green now. So we open Chrome or whatever you're going to use. Test.dev. Oops, at test.sev, didn't I? Test.dev. And boom, there we are. And it's installed. And you're ready to go. So let's. Uh, Let's really see if it's working. Let's pull back up Atom. And I don't know why it's not pulling it up for me, but there we go. And let's just get rid of this project folder. And get rid of this. I'm going to file open folder. We want WAMP64 test. And we already have it, so let's go ahead and just grab it. Here's our structure. 
and let's go to resources views welcome.blade.php and we're just going to see where's Laravel at mm, where's it let's just say this is Laravel so we're just going to add that part edit that part and we're going to go back down into Chrome and refresh and there we go this is Laravel so it's working so this is just a quick video on how to install Laravel, the most recent version of Laravel without Homestead. So I hope you enjoy this video. Like it, share it, do whatever you want to with it. Just don't steal my content. Um, if you'd like me to do more tutorials on Laravel, the new versions of Laravel, um, just leave a comment. If I get enough comments, enough people interested in me actually doing this again, I'll come back and do it. If you'd like to learn more about JavaScript or HTML or CSS or Bootstrap or uh, any of the JavaScript frameworks, uh, just leave a comment. If I get enough comments and enough people want me to come back, I'll come back. But other than that, have a great day.